Right, welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. And growing up, we didn't have a lot of options in terms of television stations and programming. And it was either Ultimate Paradise or Taxi Driver or Akandram or a few others. Ultimate Paradise was one I always looked forward to. One woman was part of that cast, uh, uh, Monique. We all grew up wanting to be like her. We love her, Afro hair, the way she dressed. And I really didn't think that one day I'll be sitting interviewing her. So it's a humbling experience for me this morning. And Monique, we haven't seen her in a while. Her name is Michelle Atto, and she is gracing our screens again. Welcome and good morning. Oh, what a blessed good morning to you as well. I mean, when you were giving me this intro, I felt my heart was palpitating. pulsating. I know. And I was thinking to myself, wow, that's 25 years ago. Yeah. Um, and such a long time. And people still remember. People mm -hmm. still say, why did you stop Ultimate Paradise? What mm -hmm. happened? You know, why haven't you done a re retake or a remake? And yeah. I said, well, unfortunately, everything you know, doesn't stay the same. Mm -hmm. But I was blessed to have graced those screens with my mother, mm -hmm. with um, George Williams and all the other cast members that were past the show. So yes, it's 25 years ago. Yeah. Where have you been 25 years? Where have well, you been? Well, you know, life takes you through journeys, you know, and seasons of life. And I always say that, um, you know, one moment you see someone 10 years ago and you expect them to be in the same position. I've transitioned. I've, 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 I've done many things in 25 years. Um, um, one of the main things that I focused on after Ultimate Paradise, of course, was to be a mother. You know, I have two beautiful adult children that I say are much higher than I oh, am. Oh, um, So, yes, thank you very much for that. <laughs> and I was also you know, building my empire, building my business, my marketing and advertising business. A lot okay. of people don't know that, you know, aside from being a TV personality or being a, a screen um, um, actress, mm -hmm. you know, I have other things that I've done. Okay. I've had an advertising in, um, company for the last 20 years called Emerge. And we okay. do a lot of marketing um, strategy development. We do a lot of PR. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of event management. So in the last 25 years, I've handled a lot of portfolios mm -hmm. from local to international portfolios and it cuts across. But so I've been mm -hmm. busy. You've been busy. <laughs> so you've, you've put on hold your acting career, I mean, for now. Um, my acting career, you know, acting has always been my hobby and mm -hmm. it's something that I've always loved to do because it's a, it's, it's a, it's a break away from reality mm -hmm. to some extent. You know, we all go through this, this corporate world where we are on this hamster wheel running around and trying to make ends meet mm -hmm. and balancing the household and all the other aspects of life. And so acting is an escape. Um, I haven't given it up and I've definitely not put it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. um, I've been very selective as to what I wanted <laughs> to be associated with because mm -hmm. I wanted to make an impact mm -hmm. and I also wanted my character to be a portrayal of um, a better version of myself. Okay. So yeah, We'll talk about uh, today's one shortly, yes. but I'm wondering, you mm -hmm. haven't changed. Your face is the same. <laughs> wait, your skin is wait. the same. Have you seen my face? Yes, you have haven't. <laughs> Yeah, the same old beautiful Monique. Tell oh, us, wow. what's the secret? Well, to be honest, there is no real sweet secret. I think it's about balance. You know, okay. everything is about balance. Um, my prayer life is very strong. Okay. I, I have a very strong foundation in God. Mm -hmm. um, I, did, I never used to be like this, though, I must say. I think with time and with, you know, maturity as well, I've come to know that that has been my anchor. So number one is prayer. Mm -hmm. And number two is I'm very active in, you know, my physical wellness okay. and number three I drink a lot of water and I would not like I would not forget and I want to mention to everyone mm -hmm. laugh you know laughter you is the laugh. best medicine to be <laughs> honest I mean we take too many things too seriously, seriously. Um, you know life on its own is quite serious mm -hmm. but you have to see the beauty in everything you but know? you stress at all I, I do, mean, do you I'm stressing right now <laughs> <laughs> do you have bad days sometimes or because you're always bubbly and smiling do you have bad days at all you know I have bad days, but I don't allow my bad days to out to to overweigh my you know my good days. Okay. You know, I always find something good in the day. Mm -hmm. And look, as as we all know, we're women. You know, we have our cycles. We have moments where we're high and we're low. Mm -hmm. We get our temperaments change. And so I've come to understand myself. Mm -hmm. I think self assessment and self you know um, realization also helps you understand what you should and shouldn't do in your life. Mm -hmm. So I do get bad days. I get depressing days. So I get you know sort of low days. But I do not focus on them. 
-hmm. know. And so I, what I want to bring to the table with today's woman is basically to encourage women mm -hmm. of all walks of life, right. from the broad spectrum, from the highest, you know, to the to the to the from the political seat to the commercial district. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting across, you know, all areas of conversation. Who is today's woman? Who really is today's woman? Michelle? Today's woman is a woman that stands, you know, her ground. Um, who is abreast with, you know, current affairs? Who is not allowing herself to be relegated to the back burner? Who is not, you know, um, who's a feminist? Who believes in her rights? Who, you know, who is fashionable? Who is versatile? Who is, you know, enterprising? Who's an entrepreneur? Who's mm -hmm. a mother? Who's a businesswoman? Who's a, I mean, today's woman cuts across. Mm -hmm. And so I'm speaking to all women from all sectors of, you know, the corporate, the commercial, the social entrepreneurial mm -hmm. um, um, sector across the body. Okay, so it's not just uh, the corporate woman. No. But you're going to, we're going to see maybe market women. Yes, who and, are, and, and that, sorry for cutting, but that's what makes change. me really excited mm -hmm. because I said to the, I said to the entire team and I, and then first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Francis Doku and um, the entire MG group um, for selecting me for being your um, new face for today's woman. I'm bringing to the table conversations from women from all walks of life, mm -hmm. um, the woman in the markets, the woman who is in the rural, rural area, the woman who is in, on the government seat, the woman who is um, who's a single parent, who, the woman who's married, the woman who has had emotional issues. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing myself also to the table. So I'm, you'll be telling us your story? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm being What vulnerable. better way to you know, encourage people? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think that sometimes we perceive personalities uh, or you know, public figures as being untouchable, unreachable. You know, that's not life. You know, life is about relativity and about being honest and mm -hmm. see how you can lift one another up. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing real, the real sense of, you know, woman empowerment mm -hmm. because I would use myself as a catalyst and myself as a reference point. And listen, I've had, I've had moments where I was not, you know, very financially stable. I've had mm -hmm. moments where I was not emotionally um, balanced. I have mm -hmm. moments where I was not at my best physical state. So let's see how we can exchange stories mm -hmm. and relate and impart that to people who are probably struggling with these areas in their lives. But what do you think is the biggest challenge of today's woman? The biggest problem that today's woman is facing? I think that most times, you know, when, when we speak about women empowerment, um, it's so broad and it's so um, generic. You know, we don't really tap into the core of issues that we really face as women. For mm -hmm. instance, I mean, I, if I came on the show and I said to you, listen, you know, during the, my, my, my menstrual cycle, I've noticed that, you know, I bloat a lot. And mm -hmm. it's something that somebody else may have noticed, mm -hmm. but they probably associate to something else, maybe medical. Mm -hmm. I feel that the thing that has deprive women from being vocal is the fact that they don't have a voice to vocalize mm -hmm. things that are sensitive, things that are s perceived to be taboo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a true sense of, of openness is what is needed to, mm -hmm. to be able to express yourself. So you're, you're looking at true life stories on the show. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter whether it's political, uh, whether it's social, whether it has health issues. You're looking at all encompassing. Absolutely. You're discussing every other issue. Absolutely. I mean, whoever comes on that seat will first and foremost have to be know that it's going to be it's going to be brutally honest mm -hmm. because I, I'm, I'm opening up myself and being honest about things that maybe she may not have you know, wanted to discuss. Mm -hmm. I will be open and transparent. So I expect my guests to do the same and to mm -hmm. feel free to just have a conversation with me. Mm -hmm. Today's woman is bringing also, um, you know, new new segments to the show. Yeah, so that's have, what I was going to yeah, come to. Yeah, we have a segment called the home and wellness segment, okay. where we home speak about, um, you know, the balance at home. Your your personal wellness, you know, affects your immediate environment, from your home to your workplace to mm -hmm. your social interactions, to even your your you know your 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 groups where whatever associations you belong to. So if you're not mentally and emotionally well, it affects everything around you, you know. So we speak about um, fitness and nutrition. We speak okay. about um, finding things that will allow you to just unwind and decompress. In what form will it come? 
we have demonstrations. demonstrations <laughs> so, so you see me, for instance, I talk about the little wobbles that I've, you know, packed on during the lockdown <laughs> and how I'm able to kind of get rid of that. Yeah. I speak about, you know, little things that you can do on the go, uh -huh. you know, trendy little fixes that, you, you know, have you ever, have you ever found yourself in a situation where mm -hmm. you've been in a, in a jumpsuit mm -hmm. and in a public toilet and you don't know how to take it off? And I'm sure there are many women Maybe, that have been in that oh situation. God, yeah. So, so I talk about stuff like that, you know, yeah. how to quick fixes. Um, but really, the core of the conversations on today's women is about um, self empowerment. Yeah. You know, sharing our stories mm -hmm. and our real stories, so that people who see us from a distance mm -hmm. realize that we're also very, we're also very you think sensitive. You are up there. Yeah, that we are unreachable. We are unreachable. Okay, so apart from the home and wellness uh, segment, we have. Are that interesting segments? yes there's another segment called the trendy woman trendy, okay. so the trendy woman we bring things up such as you know fashion mm -hmm. and and skin care um and also oh, I'm interested maternal in care because <laughs> you know some of us mothers who've had children tend to think okay so that's it my time's up mm -hmm. you know my mother now so therefore i'm going to give up you know taking care of myself mm -hmm. and quite frankly it's, it's a shame that we think we have no. that mindset because no. You can always better yourself. I mean, I am proud to say that I am in my 40s. I'm a seasoned lady, and I will no definitely way. love to encourage women <laughs> who are within my age bracket mm -hmm. to know that it's always, it's never too late to, you know, to be a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I really, really look forward to uh, today's woman. It will be premiered on Sunday, by the way, at mm -hmm. 3 p.m. Yes. Uh, Sunday, 3 p.m., and there will be a repeat on Fridays at 3 p.m. as well. And I am really, really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the trendy woman segment. Michelle, tell us, yes. what else should we expect on, 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 on the Sunday with the show? Well, um, it's, I'd love to give you, uh, I, I'm not sure if the producers are allowing me to actually say everything. Yes, but say. Some, of, some of the guests that I'll have on the show mm -hmm. are the likes of Christy Brown. Christy Brown um, is coming. And also uh, the inventor of the Veronica Buckets, Mrs. Okay. Uh, Veronica Biko. Mm -hmm. um, and also other guests, you know, like I said, it's, it's a broad spectrum of mm -hmm. women. And it mm -hmm. doesn't really focus on the corporate woman or the well-spoken woman or the educated woman or, you know, the successful woman. Really, what's the definition of success? Mm -hmm. I mean... I break it down to so many aspects. You know, mm -hmm. I talk about where did you come from? You know, where, where did you stall? Mm -hmm. And how do you see yourself progressing from this point on? Yeah. So expect to see mm -hmm. women from all walks of life. Yeah. Expect to hear me be very transparent mm -hmm. and honest about certain things that I've been through True. in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so that at least I can impart some of that, those nuggets of knowledge to people who are probably struggling in certain areas of their mm -hmm. lives. So I'm mm -hmm. bringing... I'm bringing me. Well, well, you know, the, the, the impression is that today's woman is too opinionated. Yeah. Today's woman think I, I can do everything a man can do. Is it wrong? Is it a bad thing to be opinionated as, as a woman? I think that we all have we all have the right to 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 stand our ground mm -hmm. first and foremost. I'm not I'm not a pro um, I'm not a sexist and I'm not a feminist per mm -hmm. se. I think that gender quality, equality is necessary. We're mm -hmm. all I see us all, all being equal. Quite mm -hmm. frankly, mm -hmm. there are certain things that I really do believe that you know there's been a disparity and there's been some a level of injustice. Mm -hmm. But quite frankly, I think that you know we all have the ability and the strength to mm -hmm. achieve anything that we set our mind to. Mm -hmm. So this perception of, um, you know, marginalization and women being marginalized, yes, I do understand that there has been some of that, mm -hmm. but it's about time that we, you know, we address the fact that we are all able and capable to achieve mm -hmm. anything we set our minds to. Yeah, absolutely, especially and, uh, uh, when, when we are trying to encourage the, the young girl yes. to grow up, to to believe in themselves, yes. then we, we need to let them know that anything is possible. Everything is if possible. If you put your mind to it. I, do, I wouldn't even say anything. I think everything is possible. Um, so long as you're not doing anything illegal and so anything unjust to any human being, you know, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. It's all about, you know, setting your goal and, and the God factor is the most important thing. And I, and I always stress this. I would say that this is my platform to use to let people know that if you have forgotten that there, there's a there's a higher source, there's a higher power that oversees and protects and guides you and shapes you. Remember that there is, because I definitely attest to it. So Absolutely. I'm a pro-God God girl. <laughs> <laughs> These are exciting times here on TV3. We have 
a new host to today's woman, a new face, Michelle Atto. And so you want to make a date with her on Sunday. We are premiering today's woman at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. It won't be repeated uh, on Friday, the Friday that comes up to it uh, at 3 p.m. as well. So make a date with us, today's woman. I'm looking forward to the wellness home and wellness se segment, mm -hmm. as well as the trendy woman segment. You don't want to miss out on that. <laughs> There's a lot more coming up on New Day. Miss G will be here with entertainment. Thank you very much, oh, Michelle, for wow, coming. Wow, it went so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday at 3 p.m. Definitely. It was a Only pleasure on TV3. <laughs> right here on TV3. We'll see you. We'll see you after the break. Thank you.